welcome to The Wellness Coach on Block Talk Radio. I'm your host, Edie Summers, and I'm really excited today. We have a really special treat for you. Um, I have in the studio with me today Diane Bischoff-James, and we're going to be talking about how you can change your life course now and do a life reboot uh, she's a Life Reboot Coach, and I'll introduce her in just a few moments. Um, we're also going to be talking about her book, The Real Brass Ring, as well as Diane is going to be at the Conscious Life Expo. Um, this is 2016, so for anyone listening while this is happening live, the Conscious Life Expo is happening this weekend, and Diane will give you all the details about that. She's also doing a workshop, so... If you want to work with her in person or go meet her at the Conscious Life Expo, we'll tell you all about that. Um, So today we're talking about the real brass ring, how you can change your life course now and do a life reboot. And my very special guest is Diane Bischoff-James, MS. She's a best-selling author, speaker, and life reboot coach who educates clients in the latest techniques for manifesting and transforming their hearts, minds, and bodies for optimal, authentic living. Having found herself completely off track, she lost 60 pounds, left a highly successful but exhausting executive corporate career, rid herself of depression, conquered debilitating health problems, pursued her passion as an actress, navigated a healthy divorce, and survived the perils of an addictive relationship and co-created a new one, Vital and Real, all after the age of 40. The Real Brass Ring was featured in Ohm Times Magazine and voted an Aspire Magazine Top 10 Inspirational Book. So there's much more I could introduce her um, with, but I'm just going to welcome Diane into the studio, and we'll just hear it straight from her. Um, Diane, welcome. Thank you so much for being here today. How are you? I'm great, and thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to talk to you today. <laughs> well, thank you. It's it's my pleasure and my honor. And yeah, I just Diane, I have to say, I just love your energy. And congratulations on all of your success and your book. And and also, I was looking at your like your acting reel. I'm very impressed with um, all of your accomplishments. And I know that you really help people with rebooting their lives. And also, you, you're a best-selling author. You wrote The Real Brass Ring, and you're also going to be at the Conscious Life Expo, so this is 2016 for people who are listening. So did you want to go ahead and tell us um, maybe first a little bit about yourself and your book and then maybe the Conscious Life Expo and also the workshop? Sure, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited to be able to uh, to get out there to L.A. Um, well, <laughs> one of the things that um, is has been so much fun is that I had the chance to um, – completely recraft <laughs> my existence <laughs> over the last 12 years or so. Yeah, I had to uh-huh. I had to kind of start over somewhere in the middle. Um and it it all started with this uh kind of a crazy encounter with um a psychic. Huh. Um Sonia uh-huh. Choquette. And oh, she yes. uh, okay. Yeah, she's she's um <laughs> right now she's extremely well known. She's written tons of books. I think she's probably over 12 books at this point. But when I first met her, she had just started out. And so I had the chance to kind of get in on the ground Mm -hmm. floor, and I just went to see her on a lark. I had a couple people say, oh, go see this woman for, you know, she'll be really great, and it'll be fun to talk to her. So I decided to do that for my birthday. That was my birthday present. Oh, nice. I love it. This yeah, I figured, you know, I, I had, like, the corporate thing going on. I had the, the big house across from the lake. I had the designer convertible. And I had all of this materialistic, let's say, American dream stuff that seemed uh-huh. to be working. And I, I really thought she was going to tell me, you know, you rock girl, just keep going. And so, huh. so I, went, I went down to her house in Chicago and – um uh-huh sat in there with her and for one hour she completely as i like to say like undressed me she she said <laughs> everything about your life is wrong okay. um <laughs> she said you know wrong guy wrong career <laughs> wrong passion um she's like you have debilitating you get you have these health issues that are going to be extremely serious if you don't handle them and mm-hmm. she goes you're clinically and chronically depressed and so wow. I kind of <laughs> sat there wondering, 
okay, first of all, like, am I paying for this? You know, I'm sitting here. <laughs> Why am I paying for this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, uh, yeah, she, she took a bat, and she, she knocked me across the head pretty good. Um, but, it, of course, you know, everything that happens like this is obviously – it felt like a curse at the time, but it was actually a blessing. <laughs> it was a huge blessing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And so I um huh. I sat in there for the session and and just basically she said if you don't hurry up and grab at the real brass ring mm. which now has become the title of the book she goes if you mm-hmm. don't hurry up and grab at that brass ring it's going to be too late for you. Mm-hmm. I'm like too late. I mean too late for what? What happens if <laughs> what happens if you <laughs> don't do these things, you know? <laughs> And she's uh-huh. like, well, you're supposed to be a teacher and an author and an actor oh, wow. and a healer. And wow. um, and she goes, mm-hmm. and you also, you know, she said I was, I had to find a way to handle the depression. And she was really polite, thank God, because she didn't say anything, but I was like 190 pounds. So I was also, mm-hmm. I was obese and I, I, you know, and I felt, I just felt terrible. I felt terrible. My entire mm-hmm. body was basically falling apart. But mm-hmm. so, so the interesting part is after going through that, you know, that was my wake up call. Someone saying, you know, knock, knock, knock. It's like, hello, <laughs> is, that, is the real mm-hmm. person home? You know, because everything mm-hmm. is wrong. And so I, 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 I went home and, uh, you know, I pretty much just cried because mm. how do mm-hmm. how do you fix everything? I mean, mm. the, it's mm-hmm. one thing if they go, okay, well, you know, you need a new career, or perhaps you need to start playing the piano, or you know, some people say you need to, you know, pursue <laughs> different things. Mm-hmm. But she basically said everything that I had crafted was completely, completely wrong for me as a soul, and I had to start over. So um, mm-hmm. I, t- I took it very much to heart. And then over the last uh, 12 years, I've had the um, you know phenomenal good fortune of being able to, you know, I, I, there was like there was no way I was going to completely end this life and and not get it, as much as I could back on track. So mm-hmm. so I had the chance wow. to become an actor, and that was kind of. Um, a lot of funny, crazy stories in that uh, that I was mm-hmm. able to I bet. at forty kind of go into the Chicago marketplace and go. Uh, well, I guess I'm supposed to be an actor, so let's let's do this <laughs> here thing. Here I am. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> here I am. Don't you uh, want me? You know, <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> I love that. I love it. Yeah. So, <laughs> but um, fortunately, through so many uh, just wonderful twists and turns, I had the. Uh, I started in community theater, even though I was still really, really overweight, I had the chance to kind of go in there and audition for a musical and wow. hadn't sung in years. And they, <laughs> they huh. you walk in there and they said, sing me a song. Oh, I'm like, oh no. Uh-huh. I think it's got to be like yeah. one of the world's <laughs> biggest fears. I'm going to go sing me a song. I was totally unprepared. I didn't know what I was doing. And I just wow. belted out the only thing I knew, which was like, wouldn't it be loverly? Because it was the only musical theater <laughs> song I knew. Love and it. I must have sounded like a, like a dying cat or something because they were like <laughs> staring. They're staring at me like, what are you doing here? You know, and I just kind of like. Oh. So I, I got through the song somehow shaking. That's great, though. Sh- I'm shaking wow. shaking literally wow. physically shaking i couldn't stop myself from shaking and then i oh thought you're going to kind of kick me out of there but <laughs> the director very politely said would you like to read for the lead of the of the play which is oh, nancy with oliver my gosh. Wow. and i looked at her like uh sure uh yeah that'd be fine oh, so i pick up you know i pick up the script and she's going through all this stuff with me and um i don't know where it came from but this like cockney accent came over me and i took this like really <laughs> sassy pose and I thought, Love it. Oliver and all this, you know, Oliver this and Bill won't hurt you anymore and I promise Megan's <laughs> fine. And I went through this whole thing and the woman kind of like perked up. And fortunately, yeah. uh, long story short, <laughs> I got a call and they offered oh. me my first part ever uh, in, oh in my gosh. the real acting world, which was Townsperson <laughs> yeah. 1. <laughs> that was my title. And I said, "Love it! I'll take it, of course, because Absolutely. you know I, I was so happy. Yeah. I was so happy How just thrilling. to get on stage. So, yeah, and then wow. everything kind of unfolded from there. And I lost um, 30 pounds in doing that first play just because I was so happy to be on stage and had so much fun and just danced around mm-hmm. and did can can kicks and I was <laughs> physically physically engaged and I was um, mm-hmm. joyful at the soul and uh, mm-hmm. the rest." kind of evolved so now I'm able to do a lot of film and um, I'm in a movie with Paul Servino that will be coming out next month oh my goodness and, congratulations um, thank That's you amazing. I'm really excited it's 
Yeah, it's going to be in theaters, I think, all over the country. So, wow. um, and it's called Precious Metal. It's a great movie. So um, he wow. he's obviously he's just get amazing. He's stellar. I mean, it's, it's hard even when he's talking to me. I'm like, I should be doing my lines, but I'm staring at you because you're so... <laughs> you're that's, the, that's the beauty, though. So when has that magnetism, yeah, which everyone has, really, right? It's just a matter of tapping into it, allowing yourself to exactly. tap into it, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. And that's his heart. Yeah. I mean, that's where his heartstrings are. So when he just speaks, it's mm. just the whole room just goes silent, just stares at him because he's, mm. he's just he's so charismatic and he's got such a wonderful presence. So so those are some of the fun things I've had the chance to do. And I'm very fortunate wow. that I was able to, um, to break into that as my uh, as a passion that I'd always had. But I kind of squashed down after I heard as a kid that, you know, it's a terrible career, and you can't go into that. And I took all those messages mm-hmm. very seriously, so I never really pursued it. And um, mm-hmm. so, mm-hmm. and here and here we are, <laughs> Diane. Holy my goodness, that is just what an what a phenomenal story and journey. And I just thank you so much for sharing that with everyone. And I I kind of feel like you answered probably a lot of people's questions, um, at least like about you know like weight loss and things like that. And then so if so, we were talking. Let's talk about your book a little bit. So the real brass ring, um, and also how does one reboot one's life? I mean, it sounds to me like I heard you saying that it's, you know, if you're coming from a place of joy and happiness, and, and but also is it about giving yourself permission to go for those things? Like what would you say to people that are, you know, wondering how can I do this too? Well, it's it's all of the above. It's everything that you mm-hmm. mentioned. Okay. Um, I, I came up with uh, these 14 shortcuts for happy living and they're in the book and Mm -hmm. that's kind of how I crafted it it was uh, you know I'll be honest with you when I started it's I didn't know where to go how do do you go how do you quit everything and start over and feed three children put them through school Mm -hmm. keep your house Mm -hmm. keep your lights on and you know, it, it wasn't. It's. Um, it was. It was kind of like the story. My story is a little bit like Eat, Pray, Love, but I didn't go to India mm. and go to an ashram. I had to take yeah. care of real responsibilities and continue yeah. with this life and the lives mm-hmm. that I was responsible for. So, mm-hmm. so the nice thing about it is the fourteen shortcuts. Uh, they they kind of. Boy, I had to boil it down for myself. I had to start with something simple and something that it was digestible. And in the fourteen shortcuts, I put together these. They're kind of rules of sort ways to look at the. Look at your life so that you become, and these are the three, the three steps that I like to go through. Get super clear. So get clear is number one. That's mm-hmm. about being who you really are, what really yeah. makes your heart sing, what turns that light on, the authenticity mm-hmm. of ourselves. And um, then, then the second part, once you're really super clear on that, you've got to get going because <laughs> – <laughs> a lot of people have these amazing desires for themselves, but they just don't take the actual, on this physical plane, I call it pragmatic metaphysics, which is kind of a combination mm, of East okay. meets West. Mm-hmm. And the, the yeah, Western well, part okay. is, it's we're in this world, you know, where things are measured and what you invest in is what mm-hmm. gets returned to you. So I like mm-hmm. to really talk about the investment piece of the get going part. And um, just, sh- for example, just showing up, mm. <laughs> totally overweight, <laughs> totally unprepared, <laughs> but I showed up. Showed up. And it's yeah. about showing up and saying, mm. you don't want a new position. Yeah. You don't like the position you have. You are going to have to take the steps to get the resume going. Call some people. Let people know what you're interested in. Start looking. You have to go to the job fairs. I mean, you have to actually mm-hmm. participate. So that's kind mm-hmm. of the second step. And then the third step, which is, seems so um it seems so uh, natural is the get happy step, and okay, I, I love feel that. like yeah. hmm. just what you said. Just what you said, Edie. It's it's the combination of when you're in full authenticity, you are pursuing your your, and this is what the the brass ring is all about. It's about the world has is filled with endless, just endless possibilities. Mm-hmm. But when you know yeah. your true self, and you're on that course towards your life's work. Every opportunity that comes along is there for you to kind of grab at it and say, wow, this one works for me. This one, I think I'll maybe wait a little bit. This Mm, one's super exciting. Mm -hmm. And also being super Mm. clear to say, you know, no, thank you. This doesn't work if it's if it's not a good fit. And I, I'm, I'm unfortunately, um, and I've had the, the I've just been so blessed. Mm-hmm. I've been able to travel all over the country and meet people at a lot of expos like Conscious Life and Body Mind Spirits mm-hmm. and Ultimate, you know, mm-hmm. the Universal Life and New Living and New Life. And they all mm-hmm. pretty much say the same thing. In their heart, 
they can feel where they're off track. Mm, yes, it's true. Yeah, yeah, we, we can feel it. It's all from the mm-hmm. inside, and and they'll mm-hmm. say, hmm. you know, my relationship isn't resonating. Let's say, mm-hmm. yeah, and hmm. but they are terrified to to take the steps that it would take either to you know get some coaching or or do some education with the two with the with a couple or to maybe just really get back to I hate to say it get back to that place of play where mm, two people oh, who great. yeah cuz you know when you meet you love each other and everything's so fun mm-hmm. and oh we went and we did this and we had excitement and we we have a a union usually based in play mhm cuz we're yes. cuz that's What's so fun about the in love phase hmm. is Interesting. everything's like amazing. And so, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes it's just getting back to that foundation where, you know, where were you your real self and where is your partner your mm-hmm. their real self and how can you create wow. that union again and get back there? But taking those steps, you mm-hmm. know, and, and so, so we kind of, I've been uh, able to put together not only the 14 shortcuts and, but then workshops. Like we have the, um, the workshop uh, on on next Monday will be breakthrough to the real you, mm, and okay, it, yeah, it ties so in you, all you the fourteen tell shortcuts. Yeah. So, go ahead. so Diane, if you so so we're talking. So Diane is talking about at the Conscious Life Expo a week from today, and um, after it's over, Diane is leading a workshop. And so, do you want to tell people just a little bit more about that? Yes, um, it's going to be. It's at the LAX Hilton on Monday. Okay. And uh, a week from today, which will be the 22nd, and it's from 2 to 4.30. And the workshop is called Breakthrough to the Real You. And what we do is we go through some of these initial steps for getting super clear, really getting into authentic self, speaking from the heart, looking at you know your soul's, what your soul has been requesting of you for so long. Mm-hmm. We, almost, we, we almost all are very we almost all know it. We may not come forth in our words, but we usually can feel it. So we get right into that. We do exercises. Um, we do visualizations. We do dyads where two people work together. We do group <laughs> exercises. And then what we also um, is then what we also do is try to come up with uh, some action plans, of course, so that once we get really clear, we take that first step and get clear, we know how to get going. And so we work through some of that as well as learning a lot about these 14, about the 14 shortcuts so that you can apply it when things, as we all know, like sometimes in, in the day things aren't going exactly the way you want. <laughs> yeah. Sure, we can all relate to that. Um, sure. But it's how to apply these really simple, and let me just, I'll give you an example. Um, okay. One is... One is all about managing your wave. And, you know, mm, we're beings of light. Love that. Mm, yeah, mm. And, and light moves love in it. waves. And we're mm. moving in these waves. We're waveforms. Yes. And so yes. Oh, interesting. Can, that, interesting. Yeah. And it can, it can move in all different ways. It can go, like, crazy up and down and really, really short. And that's mm-hmm. usually when you're either panicked or really mm. angry or... Um, mm. In most cases, when it's extremely short, that usually means that there's some kind of, um, usually it's based on fear, lack, or, Mm -hmm. you know, and and it's the more agitation. And then usually when it's nice and loping, um, you know, that really calm Buddha kind of (laughs) and presence when we're in, we're in peaceful, chill, sitting by the beach, um, (laughs) that's more of our natural state. Mm -hmm. And so bring a lot of awareness to how you can live with that consciously in in mm-hmm. your control so that when something is uh, either pushing that button of fear or maybe pushing the button of, um, you know, the shoulds and I should have done this and I didn't do that and I don't have enough time to do this, to really take it and kind of flip it on its ear and to look mm-hmm. at ways where you can always reach for just that next thought that feels just a little bit better, which is, Ooh. yeah, yeah. Great advice. And we're the only species that can do that. We're the only species mm-hmm. anywhere mm-hmm. that we know of that can mm-hmm. actually <laughs> consciously change the direction of our thought. Mm. So, and, ooh, yeah. And how yeah. powerful is that? And and Diane, I just I love your blend of East and West mysticism and really giving people tools for you know being able to um, realize like the action that they need to take, but at the same time being grounded 
in their heart. And, you know, when you're talking about, like, I love how you were talking about couples, like, you know, go back to where you were grounded and having fun with one another, you know, instead of trying to overanalyze it, you know, but then also, so within anything, take, you know, pursuing a dream or doing a life reboot, you know, also taking that, that practical action. Um, These are just, and, and I love, I love the wave analogy as well. These are just, you know, brilliant, brilliant tips. And, and these are really tools for people. Um, yes. So ab- just absolutely brilliant. So if someone wanted to come to your, well, first of all, how do they come see you at the Conscious Life Expo? And then how would they participate in your workshop if they wanted to? And also where, where can they find your book as well? Okay. Um, well, the Conscious Life, the best thing to do for Conscious Life Expo is to go on their website. And mm-hmm. it's um, ConsciousLifeExpo.com. And okay. it's 2016, um, mm-hmm. and I have a lecture that will be a free lecture. It kind of give you a little bit of an overview, and it's called um, "Live Your Best Life Ever." So it's kind of oh, uh, really getting getting down to the basics. You know, really, mm-hmm. what would it take, and what would this life look like if it was exactly the way I wanted it? And so mm-hmm. that's going to be on Friday from uh, seven to eight, and then the workshop, which you can sign up for. The workshop is a paid workshop because it's two and a half hours, and it's like an intensive. Mm-hmm. And that's going to be on Monday. You can also um, sign up for that on the Conscious Life Expo website. And everything's at the LAX Hilton, so it's nice and central. And it's a pretty easy location, very convenient parking. They have their own valet. It's it's very convenient. Nice. And mm-hmm. um, and my website, I have a brand new one that sh- hopefully will be launched this week. <laughs> We're awful close. Oh, nice. uh, oh. And the current website is called liveyoureverything.com. Mm-hmm. Um, and the new one, you can go either way. The new one is going to be called Diane.net. It's D-I-A-N-N-E. Yeah, Diane.net with two N's. And um, nice. that mm-hmm. that will be up shortly because I, I want to put all these tools in there and offer um, just as many ways as I can to help to help everyone just have that little bit of uh, inspiration, a little bit of lift for their day so that they can feel lighter. And especially when you're having some challenges, come in and maybe look for ways that you can get some retooling <laughs> and, oh, uh, yes. and reboot, reboot wherever wherever you might start from. Absolutely. And just and just, you know, for anyone listening, just realize that you do have the power to reboot, you know, the because you were you were Diane was talking about how we all we have the power as a species to change our thought pattern and and the direction of our thoughts. So that's you have the power. And it's um, but of course, it's you know, it's also about, you know, other people and coaches and other people, if you were to work with, say, Diane in a workshop, like her workshop next Monday, other people can help you, you know, with accountability and holding that space for you and also serve as role models. So, but it's, I want, I really want people to know that, that it's, it's absolutely possible to reboot your life and take it wherever you want it to go. I mean, you know, Diane, you're a shining example of that. And also, you know, for anyone listening, um, I do have Diane's new website, diane.net, on my show page, as well as the link to her workshop. So that, that link is on my show page, so you can just come here to blog talk radio slash the wellness coach if you want to find those two links. And then, Diane, let's say your other um, – so your your other website – um, is currently called liveyoureverything.com, so you can also find information on there. And then, Diane, um, where can people find your book, The Real Brass Ring? Uh, the Real Brass Ring is on Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. Oh, and wonderful. it's also at a few okay. select bookstores. So I think in, um, in L.A. it's also at Mystic Journey. Oh, how fun. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. And I congratulations on just all of your successes. And, um, you know, we're, we have about five minutes left on live air, and then we have a few minutes afterwards. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to cover, any takeaways or anything that you really feel is really relevant today that you wanted to share with people? Well, I would just like to share that um, number one is that the the world is just – it's a palette. It's a palette out there with mm. infinite possibilities. And it is <laughs> love it. It is never ever too late to make a change. And I would I would like to start one of my one of my future desires. I'm going to start like a board. <laughs> it's called Living Proof. <laughs> because love that. Love there it. are so yeah. many men and women. I mean, uh, so many men and women right now are saying this isn't working for me. Um, I have, and the way I looked at it is I actually counted days and I figured I had 11,000 mm-hmm. days from the day I met Sonia. I had 11,000 <laughs> days to straighten this out. 
That's my practical <laughs> side. That's the Western side. Uh-huh. And I figured, okay, 11,000 days, what can I do within that time? And that's when it actually got both mm. a little nerve-wracking but also got very wow. exciting. 11,000 days is kind of a lot of time and not a lot of time. And everybody yeah. has X number of days to have the mm-hmm. life you love. And you can have the life you love and all of those dreams that you're thinking about can be yours because once you're on track with your with your actual soul's journey and you're on track mm-hmm. with your life's work, mm-hmm. the universe is there at 100 and like basically 150% supporting you. So Me as too. much as you're doing your work on, mm-hmm. this, on this planet, you have this mm-hmm. team on the other side. You have an entire team, once you are on track, that they're mm-hmm. right in there helping and showing you day in and day out that you know life is – we're not here to suffer. We're here to enjoy ourselves and have an absolutely wonderful time. And so mm, um, the question is, wow. what would it take for you to love your life? That's what I like to ask. People. Mm, that's a great question, and and so and then and then and then just for a hypothetical, just for not, not even a rhetorical question, but so what would it take, you know, just in case anyone does need like a, a recap? <laughs> sure. Is, is, what would it take? <laughs> well, the first thing is get clear. Get really clear with mm-hmm. yourself. Get clear. Uh, okay. ta- get clear with yourself. Um, ask yourself some really honest questions. I like to put yeah. things in couple of four, the four quadrants, you know, the mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical. And I do all this for coaching. Um, I have a coaching mm-hmm. practice where I'm able to help people if they have any um, any challenges with that. I can help you get super clear. Um, I call it the quintessence, but, you know, those four quadrants. And we're able mm-hmm. to look at where you mm-hmm. are in each nice. four and then to mm-hmm. see where are you high? Everybody's high on some, and everybody's low on some. I haven't. I have mm-hmm. yet to meet anyone who has all four high, <laughs> because mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know mm-hmm. if we'd be here. Maybe we're here to work through all this, but <laughs> most people have a couple high and a couple where you're working on it. And then what we can mm-hmm. do is together mm-hmm. we can craft and get you going, which is that second piece where you're actually able to say, "Look, I recognize my strengths. I honor my strengths, and I honor mm-hmm. where the parts that are slightly off track." One little shift, one little change, usually we'll put it right back on track for you, and then that entire quadrant just mm. kind of blossoms. Wow. So we can wow. help you with that. And and also what happens naturally is the outcome. People feel like, oh, I just want to get happy. Well, usually that's the outcome, and that's the byproduct of being mm-hmm. of having your light on, of actually feeling mm-hmm. like you're on target with your person, with your purpose, and you're living your mm-hmm. kind of plan A life. The natural byproduct of that is, your life feels rich. You feel very satisfied. Um, you do take a lot of downtime for yourself. You make sure you're doing things that you love. And you have kind of more healthy, buoyant relationships. Um, that's mm-hmm. all part of it. And so, um, so I'd be, you know, I'm, I'm available as a coach. I know you do coaching as well. But sometimes it's just getting that outside party, I feel, sometimes. It's it very is. supportive. Yeah. Absolutely. It makes a huge difference for any of us. Mm-hmm. And so, so that's, that's a suggestion that I might have to look into a, a coach that can work, work, help you work through the process. And then you also accelerate your growth. It goes very quickly that way. Yeah, and any of the I, I've said this before, but you know, look at athletes like anyone who's really on their A game. And like I love how you say like you know it's kind of like living your plan A life. Like don't don't even have a plan B. But any athlete <laughs> who's living their A game has a coach. It's, um, you know, people that are striving for excellence and living out of excellence have other people that are holding them accountable, serving as mirrors, and also showing them how to tweak what they're already doing so that they can do it to the best of their ability. I mean, I really think coaching is is the future. So um, it's, um, Diane, I just thank you so much for your amazing wisdom. And for anyone listening live, we're about to go off the air We'll be you come come listen because we'll be talking just for a few more minutes here. But um, go check out Diane. She's going to be at the Conscious Life Expo, and also she has her workshop the following Monday. You can find the information on the show page here on the Wellness Coach, and also her book is called The Real Brass Ring. And um, Diane, I can't thank you enough for being here, and um, it's such a pleasure and honor to speak with you. And um, I just, you know, I, you're welcome back any time. And is there anything else that you want to say or um, before we go off the air here? Um, I would just want to say that um, midlife can be the absolute best time of your life. <laughs> so, uh, just a little plug. Love it. It's never, ever too late to create the life that you love. And it's such a pleasure mm. to be here. Thank you so much for having me, Edie. This has been so much fun. 
Diane, thank you so much. And what a beautiful high note to end on here. Um, it's been a blast. And have a um, just a fabulous expo, Conscious Life Expo. Um, you can go to their website to find out more information and also here on the show page to, if you want to come join Diane's workshop next Monday. Um, thank you so much for being here, Diane. Um, it was such a pleasure. And go check out her book, The Real Brass Ring. You can find it on Amazon and also Barnes & Noble. And also go check out her website. The new website is diane.net, and um, with two N's, so D-I-A-N-N-E dot net. Thank you, Diane, for being here. And, um, yeah, thanks to everyone for listening. And I hope you have a great uh, expo, Diane, and maybe I'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay, thanks so much. Thanks so much. Um, thanks for listening, everyone. You've been listening to The Wellness Coach on Block Talk Radio. We hope that you have a great and happy and beautiful and fulfilled rest of your day and life. Take care.